Hi everyone, it's Tawny. I am in a mirror right now because I wanted to show you how disgustingly cluttered my desk is. So this is where I sit and do my makeup. This is my whole filming thing. I have a bunch of mirrors and stuff. And there's too much going on. And I want to clean it up and like go through. And I kind of just want to declutter a bunch of stuff. Um, over here is where I keep all of the new makeup I'm testing out. I have a video coming out soon where I tell you the pros and cons of these mascaras and rank them. Stuff that I've been wanting to try. I've tried this eyeshadow palette out, palette out and I hated it. I bought it at Five and Below. And then I bought this one. But I've been really intrigued about these palettes. They originally came out from Huda Beauty. So I did want to give it a shot. And then I have used these ColourPop palettes each but they still sit over here because they're still somewhat new to me. I haven't even touched my Animal Crossing palettes. Here are new palettes I'm trying out and favorites. Um, this Morphe Jaclyn Hill one's not a favorite, but it's here because I've been trying to use it, but it just sits there, especially because it's a bigger palette because most of my like space with my other palettes are for small palettes. And then here I have this one I've been using because I love this palette. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette, the Latte 1. I believe I have Latte 1 and 2, but 1's just like been my favorite just because of like the basic colors in here. I love these two shimmers all over my lid. Like they look so nice. And then I picked up some new makeup that I just took out of the Walmart bag, the Incognito Concealer from Wet n Wild. And then this highlighter from Milani, it's in Afterglow. Um, this highlighter has been out like as long as I've been a fan of YouTube. I had it, was a little iffy on it, and then got rid of it. And then everybody's been using it lately. And then I'm like, I should have kept it because it wasn't terrible. So I'm getting my desk chair over so I can climb up onto my bookshelf. Because I made this bookshelf and then I was like, let's put makeup on it. Five minutes later, it's covered in makeup because I have so much makeup. And it like really worked out because it like is the perfect size for having all of my makeup that I have. I have the Conspiracy palette up here because we don't talk about owning her. We don't. So here's all my palettes. I have a bunch of ColourPop and small palettes here. I have all my Kaleidos palettes stacked here. I have this collection from Inglot, the Powerpuff Girls collection. I bought this because Powerpuff Girls is my favorite and I kind of needed an idea for a video but I kind of sort of didn't really care for any of those so we're going to see about getting rid of those. I have a bunch of ColourPop palettes here and a bunch of like drugstore type stuff. Here are my high-end loves. These two sections are like palettes I can never get rid of although this one is a little bit questionable because it wasn't the greatest. Like I've tried drugstore products that are better than that but that's beside the point. Then we have some of them are more indie brands here and then I have the rest that are kind of just like they're all right but they're not favorites kind of a thing so we're gonna just jump right into it I've already wasted four and a half minutes of your time basically talking about little bits and things we're gonna actually get into decluttering these are eyeshadow palettes FYI um I have the Alva 2 palette the mini force palette from Odin's Eye keeping that I really like there's a gold in there that looks really pretty I'll show you what it looks like it's so hard to open palettes when you have one hand. That gold right there, Spirit Force, so pretty. And I really like the blues, even though I haven't used them. But they pair really well with the Alva 2 palette that I have right here. And this is staying because it's another favorite. I love Odin's Eyes formula. It might be one of my favorite formulas. And then all three of these Kaleidos palettes I'm keeping. I have Futurism 3, Futurism 2, and Futurism five it's really hard to hold my phone up and talk at the same time and look yeah five um this one i haven't really used a whole lot but i'm gonna try and use it that was the whole point of buying it but at some point i feel like it might end up getting poshmarked just because i don't use it um i have these two elf minis i think i'm gonna keep this one the mint to be and then I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one is chocolate mint just because I never use it and I probably have a mint shimmer like this somewhere else in my collection so I'm just going to get rid of that and this one is staying these Powerpuff Girl eyeshadow palettes I really wanted to like but they honestly sucked so I kind of think I might remove the packaging and keep the outer part and just throw away the palette because let me see if I can open it yeah, put my phone down real quick. Yeah, okay, so this is what it looks like. The blue looks so nice, but it just, like, there was no pigment to it. It was just bland. You'll have to check out the video. I'll put it in the um, eye, the, yeah, in the cards up in the eye so you can check it out. 
I just threw that onto the floor. Okay, best way of getting rid of it. But yeah, I think I'm going to declutter those because I'm just not a fan. Love the show, the old one. The new one, the more they make, the less it better it gets, honestly. Like, it's already good. You don't need to, like, keep going with this. Oh, I think I got these at Five and Below, I believe, a long time ago. Um, this LA Colors Nudes. Yeah, there we are. Nude palette I'm going to get rid of because I don't ever use it. And I kept trying to, like, make excuses to keep it because the shimmers look really pretty. But in all honesty, I have these shimmers in other palettes. So this one is going away. Going down here. Then I have, oh, this e.l.f. palette, which is going to go with the rest of my e.l.f. palettes. It's rose water. I'm going to put that down with the rest of those. Night Owl is staying. Lilac to be, or Lilac You A Lot is the best ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And do not come after me. I say that. 100% believe it. Baby Got Peach, I don't use as much, but I'm going to keep it. Going Coconuts, keeping that. Orange You Glad, I feel like I've used once or twice but it still has the covering over the mirror and it just it's gonna be on the chopping block if i have other oranges in my collection i will definitely get rid of this one and not that those oranges would probably be any better but like color pops formula is like one of my favorites i just don't ever reach for this so i think i'm gonna put this down with the ones to get rid of and then i'm gonna go through and once i figured out which eyeshadow palettes i'm keeping i'm gonna see if i can like find a way to get rid of that like through other things that i have <coughs> Oh, okay. So then I have the Collab Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm getting rid of this. It doesn't even, oh, it's Get Ready With Me, I think. I don't even know. It's this one. I'm getting rid of this because I don't ever use it. And while the formula is nice, it just doesn't speak to me. And this packaging, like this right here, the outer of the plastic thing just looks poopy. <laughs> it just doesn't appeal to me. So I'm getting rid of that because I'm just not feeling it. Flutter by, I haven't used it much, but I'm keeping it because I think it's a good palette to use in like in collaboration with the Lilac You A Lot because it has a lot of shimmers and glitters in it that the Lilac You A Lot one, like it complements it well. So I'm going to keep that. This palette is the Yes Please palette, keeping that because it's one of my first palettes. This one as well. This palette I got from C Color Cosmetics, and it was on a recommendation from Julia Mazzucato. I'm getting rid of this because I don't ever reach for this, and I have plenty of these shadows elsewhere, but I feel like it'd be a good palette. I feel like it's a dupe for something because that's, that's a brand that like they dupe everything. That's like their thing. So yeah, pushing this back into my bookshelf and then we're moving on to the next one uh the burgundy bar from maybelline keeping it's their best eyeshadow palette nudes of new york is a close second keeping that i have the nice palette from bh cosmetics from their um when their dis christmas collection from 2020 and i'm keeping that because i really like it but i haven't used it yet but i still plan on using it at foresight from ColourPop is the rob beauty christie collab i've been wanting to use this i just haven't so i need to get into using it more um the sweet talk palette i am not as big of a fan as i thought i would be with this palette it just doesn't really do anything for me this is what it looks like i'm going to get rid of this because i feel like i don't ever reach for it and it's just meh uh, the Good is Gold, keeping that. Mulan, keeping that. I have the Alter Ego Sahara and Goddess palettes, keeping those because those are deep dupes for um, Natasha Denona. So I'm definitely going to keep those. Put that one up here and put this down here. And then these are going to go back where they originally had been because I had a system and it was working. So... We're going to keep it working and put that there. Okay, so now we're moving on to these. Uh, the Naked Reloaded, I'm going to hold on to. Um, at some point, I'll probably get rid of it, but just not right now. I have the ABH Sultry palette, keeping that. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I bought that on sale, and I really like the palette. I think it's really nice. Sandstone. Um, okay, and there's Dominique Cosmetics Latte too, keeping that one because I really like it and it's still new to me. The Sandstone palette I bought and have never used, so I think I actually am going to get rid of it. I'd like to take out Bell Rock and Pueblo. Don't come at me if I pronounce it wrong. Um, I also like Big Ben, but I'd like to depot those, but I don't know how to depot a palette. And last time I tried, I dug into the shadow and like screwed it up but I just don't reach for it and I don't like 
these like half matte, half shimmer shades. So I'm just going to get rid of this one just because I'm just not like, it's just not doing anything for me. I have the Warrior by Juvia's Place. I keep it because I've heard the formula is good, but I've just never really reached for it. I was going to try and say that in a different term, like past tense, a different tense, not term, but then it didn't come out right. It's a nice palette. It's fine. It's just meh, but I'm going to hold on to it. Then I have the side-by-side -side palette from Nabla. This is a really nice palette. I got this because this was Julia Mazzucati's like favorite palette whenever it came out. She like raved over this and I like trusted her with like every, like she could not say anything wrong. I like it. It's not my favorite palette by any means, but it's a nice palette. If you have a gift card or a discount that you can get it on sale, I would say go for it. But for me, it was just kind of I needed to spend the money to get the Ulta points to stay at Platinum, so that's why I got it, and that was a whole big ordeal. Urban Decay Born to Run, this palette's meh. I know a lot of people don't like this palette. A lot of people say it's, like, not a great palette. Packaging's gorgeous. I have a video coming out where this is going to be featured in that, but packaging is nice, but it's just, like, not the best palette, but my sister bought this for me, so I want to keep it just for you know, her sake. I want to try and use more of like the pinks and oranges and yellows, just try and see what I can do with it. Cause I really like using those on my eye. The, the balm in the balm of your hand volume two, keeping this because this is like a limited edition product that is not out anymore. And I bought it when I worked at Kohl's cause I got an employee discount and you could use that on makeup. So I'm definitely keeping that one because you can't buy it anymore. So I have to keep it. I have the Lorac Pro 4. I believe it's the four. I'm afraid to move it because these shadows are insanely, like, I don't want to say dry, but, like, powdery. And, like, you look at it the wrong way and it breaks. I dropped this in my bathroom on, like, hardwood floor, shattered. It still, like, works fine. I didn't lose much shadow, but it made such a mess. It's still dirty looking, but I just can't part with this palette because this was, like, one of the first big name palettes that I bought even though it's not a favorite for Lorac fans I still really like it and then I have the Carity Picante palette I am forever going to keep that palette because I will attest that it is one of the best palettes that nobody talks about like I think it is such a good palette it's a very warm toned palette with a little bit of orange or purples in it so I, I guess you could call it like a sunset palette essentially I'm not going to show you because I just don't want to pull it out but it's a really nice palette and then I have the Rimmel Spice palette this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Cherry palette I'm keeping this one because it's a dupe and I feel like at some point I'll get use out of it um the Bad Habit Aura palette. They are no longer making makeup Bad Habit. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Prism palette from ABH. So I'm keeping this because A, you cannot get the Bad Habit Aura palette anymore. So if I were to sell it, I'm going to upcharge like crazy just because I can. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that a lot of people don't like that and I don't like that, but it is a limited edition product that's no longer being per like produced so you know but I do like this palette the shadows are a little bit chalky and a little bit like there's a lot of fallout but for your money and what it is it's not a bad palette and I really like that energy shade like that highlighter shade just really spoke to me so that's why I bought it this elf palette the earth and ocean I wanted this for so long and then I got it used it once and that's it so I am decluttering this because this was the whole purpose of me doing this video was to get rid of this palette because I'm tired of keeping palettes that I don't use Midas cosmetic smoky glow palette I'm never getting rid of because I just like it so much I have the bad habit Athena palette I believe this is a dupe for the rose or dust rose or dust rose something palette from Huda. So I'm going to keep this because I like the tones in this. I feel like it's a more red toned version of the Smoky Glow palette, which I could be wrong. I could just be full of crap, but I don't think this is a terrible palette. So I'm going to hold on to this and try and use it a little bit more. Then I have the Alter Ego Artemis palette, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona, like, hundred some dollar palette this palette I've heard very good things so I'm keeping this 
I have the JSC Thirsty Palette. I'm keeping this because it's no longer being made. I don't really like the formula of this brand. I thought I would. I like the Conspiracy formula better than this formula, honestly. This one just was really patchy and didn't last throughout the day like I thought it would. I was very disappointed in the formula of that, honestly. Because when somebody brags that their makeup brand is the best makeup brand out there, it should be good quality. It shouldn't be crap. And I felt like it was kind of crap. Um, the Emily Edit Palette from Makeup Revolution. I wanted to like this palette. I wanted to like this more than I did, but I honestly like the colors are very muted and muddled, which is expected of Makeup Revolution. I mean, not expected and like we expect the brand to suck, but like I've tried their formula before and I hate it. So I don't like to buy makeup palettes for Makeup Revolution, like eyeshadow palettes because they're not good, but I'm keeping this because I bought it for Emily. And then I also bought the So Jaded palette, but I'm keeping this because I do like the shimmers in here and I do think it's a good palette. It's just a little bit too colorful for me. Like I can't make the blues and greens work as much as I try. That's just my thing. And then the Naughty palette from BH Cosmetics I'm keeping because it's like one of my favorites. So I'm going to try and reorganize this so it doesn't look like a total train wreck. The Dusk to Dawn C Color Cosmetics palette is a dupe for the Jackie Ina palette. And I'm putting that up here just because I use it whenever I want to use it. And then otherwise I just kind of keep it stored. So it's going to stay up there. So this is what the shelf looks like. And this is what we're getting rid of. I feel like it's a good, you know, a good amount to get rid of aside from this palette because we're keeping this one obviously but we're gonna stick those over there. So now we're moving on to brushes, favorites, and foundations. I almost said mascara, and then I'm like, no stupid. It's foundation. Okay, so these three palettes, or these three blushes from Nabla Cover FX and Alamar Cosmetics all staying. All of this basically is staying, except for this Juvia's Place, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. I did not like this when I used it the first time, and if I don't like it the first time I use it, it's just not gonna get used. It looks like this. It's really blinding, but I just don't think it's for me, so I'm just gonna declutter that. Um, I have the two ABH highlighters. They are my absolute favorite. Will not get rid of those. I have the Urban Decay Sin highlighter that is no longer being made. It was Samantha Ravindahl's favorite at the time. I got it from TJ Maxx, so I will never get rid of it because you cannot buy it anymore. These are all my brushes. I will do a brush declutter at a later date, but I think I'm just gonna keep what I have. Same with sponges, even though I could probably get rid of some of the sponges because they're old. Um, I have two different shades of this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, Conceal and Hydrate, foundation. I used to wear shade F2, but then I realized it was too light and that F4 was my shade in every other foundation I bought from them. So I switched to F4 and I, now I use the F2 as like a winter shade because I can get away with it in the winter, but when I'm tan, forget it. That shade will never work for me again. Um, I think this Profusion foundation is going to go into my like hideaway thing with foundations. You'll see that in a minute. Same with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I just wasn't as big of a fan as it as like I thought I would be. And then same with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I did not like this nearly as much as I thought I would. Check out the cards for a video talking about products that I thought were better than they are. Um, and then the rest of those I'm going to keep there because I do use those all the time. Like these are literally my favorites. I mean, I've been testing out the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover lately and I've started liking it more because I bought a shade that actually works. And then the Urban Decay foundation in the back, I like it, but I have found that I think it's the wrong shade, so that kind of sucks. Here is this mismatch of various products we're going to go through and try and get rid of something. I have this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray that my sister gave to me. And I have this old one that doesn't have much, but I'm gonna keep using it till it no longer sprays, which I think is coming soon. So then I'll be able to get rid of that. I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation that I need to get out and use because I bought it to do a video on and I don't think I've ever used it. Um, let's see, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, I'm gonna get rid of because I don't use it ever. And I just 
don't reach for it at all. I'd like to use this one from Milani more because it was like a big thing at the time, but I've just never really gravitated towards it. The CYO Long Lasting Foundation is not being sold anymore, I don't think. So I'm holding on to that. Um, let's see. I need to use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation more because I really did like it, but I think this one's better, even though most people will disagree with me. I honestly think this one is like one of their best foundations, and this was like my go-to at the time. But if you're sensitive to smell, don't even bother because it's going to bother you. Like, it's going to drive you nuts. This ColourPop, the no filter foundation. It's not bad. It's really aesthetically pleasing. I wish it had a cap though because it's like ridiculous. It doesn't. It's not the worst foundation, but it's certainly not the best, but I'm keeping it just because I want to keep it. And then these two, I'm keeping the Rimmel and the Bite. The Bite one's not bad, but again, it's just not my shade. So I don't know what situation there is. I have another Conceal and Define. Oh, this is the original, the Conceal and Define. I'm keeping this because I do like this, but I do like the Conceal and Hydrate better. So if you, wow, look. Well, they're both the same size, but um, I was like, oh, one's smaller, but no, it's just the lid, the cap. But um, yeah, but if you like matte, I would go with Conceal and Define. But if you like more of like a fresh look, go with the Conceal and Hydrate because it's just like out of this world good okay and then the rest are sponges oh i have this one that i bought on amazon because jessica braun who i will link below said that this is her favorite foundation ever and you can't get this in the united states anymore i believe it might be like in the uk but you can't get this in the u.s so i had to buy it online on amazon and i do admit it's good it's just not my favorite like i would definitely never say it's better than the maybelline superstay but that's just my opinion it's my opinion. Um, I have a bunch of setting sprays, but I'm keeping all of them because I actually do use most of these. I don't particularly like the smell of the Hyaluronic Fix one for Makeup Revolution, but it's not the worst thing. Um, let's see. I have a bunch of... Whoa, that one like flew. I have a bunch of... Oh, there's not another one. Okay. Uh, stick foundations. I have the Makeup Revolution, the ColourPop No Filter stick. I'm not a big fan of the L'Oreal Infallible stick, which is okay, and the Maybelline Superstay. I honestly think the Maybelline Superstay is better than the L'Oreal, but I know most people would disagree. I'm just going to keep all four of these just to have on hand, just because. I got an extra one of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Con Concealer. No, this one's actually old. Um, let me open it for a second. Okay, so this is like dried out. So we are going to throw this away because there's like nothing in it. That's why I bought a second one. And did I buy a second one? We'll have to figure that out whenever we go through our concealers. I have a bunch of setting sprays that I really like. Keeping all of those, like pretty much all that I have are good. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this one because I just don't use this and I don't care for it. But the other one from e.l.f. that I have, this one's pretty good. It has a little rolly ball in it that shakes. So that's kind of cool. Um, over here are my cream products and then I have some ColourPop Super Shocks in here. I'm just going to keep all those because I've already decluttered that and my mind hasn't really changed much since then. Most of these are going to stay just because I've decluttered this recently too. Although, this product... <laughs> has started to form a, well, that's dust on the top. Sorry, guys. It started to turn into a Jaclyn Hill lipstick thing. I don't know if you can tell. It has bubbles on the top. And I've used it, and it hasn't broken me out. So I'm hoping that means it looks like poop. Um, I'm hoping it's still decent. I really like it. I think it's a really good bronzer, but it just, like it's funky. So I'm holding on to it, but I haven't been using it much just because I'm afraid that it's going to like eat my skin. Um, if I'm being honest, I have a lot of products I don't actually use, but I'm just going to keep them all and like maybe one day use them, you know? So yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go back up to, this is where I keep primer, concealer, powder, highlighter, blush, bronzer, eye products in terms of eyeliner, eyeshadow primer, 
brow products, mascaras, and then lip products. And these are mostly like lippies slash lip glosses slash lip liners. My favorite lip glosses actually go over here, which I'm not quite sure why they haven't made it into this drawer, but that's beside the point. And then I have this bowl down here that has other lipsticks I don't use as often. And then these are like my favorite lipsticks, lip liner, um, liquid lipsticks, what have you. I have no sort of organization for these products. So that kind of is like scary you know that like they're just so unorganized so i'm gonna set the phone let's see will you zoom in kind of sort of okay so i have the butter gloss from nyx and creme brulee just like abron recommended this so we're keeping that do i have any i can get rid of i don't use this one enough but i'm gonna try it is the maybelline super stay 24 color lipstick and it has like a little balmy thing that's supposed to help keep the color there i think i've used it once and i actually liked it is there anything oh, i have this just a tint from ColourPop and gimme s'more this was one recommended from angelica Oles. i think that's how you oaks Oles, something like that i want to like it but it's just not it's a little bit too balmy like it's it's leaning between a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick, and I don't really like the in-between of that, but I'm going to keep it because it's a really popular one, but I'm just not, it's not my formula, so you really have to be in the mood for that. This, I got Fresh Squeezed, the Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil from CoverGirl, hands down one of my top five favorite lip products. I will never get rid of this. It smells good. It looks nice. So pretty. I need to get the rest of the collection, honestly, because it's just so good. Um, what does this look like? Okay, I have Oh Snap, one of the lippy sticks from ColourPop. It looks like this. I'm going to get rid of it because I don't ever use it, and I just feel like it's taking up space in the drawer. I could go to some other product that actually gets used. Um, I don't use this one from Physicians Formula. It's the Maru Maru Butter something. I have the shade Brazilian Sunset. I botched that name like you would not believe. But the color's pretty. Samantha Ravendahl recommended this, so I bought it because... She looked really good in this, so I bought it so I could look really good in it. Uh, me Girl's reference if you picked up on that. Um, it's It's fine. It's not my favorite by any means but I want to try and, you know, try it out. I have three of the lifter glosses from Maybelline. I have Ice, which is this one, super cute. It's almost the white one, but it's not. It's almost the clear one, but not. Then I have Reef, which is this more like in the middle. I'm going to get rid of this just because I don't use it and I've never used it, and I just don't reach for that kind of a tone, and then I bought Ruby, which honestly, I don't know how this is going to look on me, but you know, I bought it to try it, and I believe this was one that's like exclusive to CVS, but don't quote me on that because I'm not actually sure, but I have the e.l.f. Rider Dye Lip Balm I'm going to throw in here because I don't use it as much. Same with the Mint Melt lip plumping gloss not that it's not good it's really good i'm just gonna stick it in here because it doesn't get as much use and then i can put these two lifter glosses from maybelline up top and then these are my favorites i have two from ColourPop, the luxie glosses i have the fenty gloss and fussy that i do like it but it's just not quite my fave i have one from patrick ta and yeah that's it and I have these three lip glosses from Maybelline that are new. I have 235, 450, and 275 that I'm hoping to get more use out of soon. It's just, I use like the same two different lip gloss lipstick things, and that's just how it works. Mascaras. The Maybelline Sky High is going in my chopping block thing because it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite by any means. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise, if you watched a recent Get Ready With Me, I'm going to put that in the eye as well. This was the worst mascara I have ever used. It clumped so hard and it started to flake a little bit. I hated it so much and I think it's because I've had it a while and I think it might be a little old, but I'm not actually sure, but it just like doesn't look great. So I'm throwing this away just because it's like, ugh, I'm just not feeling it um the 
Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. That one is going in my chopping block because it was okay, but not great. Uh, let's see. The Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. Not the worst mascara, but not my favorite. So that's going to stay up here. I honestly could just declutter like half of these, but I'm just going to hold on to them because I feel like they're decent. So I'm just going to keep them in there. Um, going through my eye and brow, I'm going to get rid of the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. It looks like this in the packaging. My phone's having a really hard time focusing. I'm sorry, guys. And then whenever you pull it out, it's one of these kind of wands. And I feel like with my thick brows, it's just doing nothing for me. Maybe if you had light brows or dark, dark brows. But for me, having like medium brown brows, forget it. This is like waste of time. Um, I have the laminate brow for Makeup Revolution. It's fine. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm going to keep everything else because I just... Oh, I'm going to get rid of the Profusion No Budge Eyeshadow Primer, which is so sad that Profusion, who does really good at eyeshadows, cannot do an eyeshadow primer. I was not a big fan of this. I have my Milani one that I like, and then the Prime and Lock for Makeup Revolutions. Meh. It's not terrible, and I can get away with using it, but it's just not my favorite. But then everything else, I think I'm just going to keep just because, like, I like everything else. So we're just going to hold on to that stuff. I'm um, going through highlighters in this drawer. I'm going to keep everything because I've gone through this recently. And I, like, love all those highlighters, even though I typically just reach for my ABH ones. My blushes, I think I can actually get rid of some of them. This one from CoverGirl is in uh, Love Me. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for O-R-G-A-S-M from NARS. And I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't reach for it. And I have the Milani one that's supposed to be a dupe as well. So that one's going to go. This Clinique Cheek Pop and Melon Pop. I am like five seconds away from throwing this thing in the garbage because I hate it so much. I'm going to keep using it. But I'm going to hate it at the same time. Because I just like, it just irks me because it's decent. But it's not great. What is this one from Elf? I have a putty blush. How did I not know this? I have a putty blush in a shade that I don't know what it's called. I'll show you, it's this color. It's like a reddish pink. I had no idea that I even had this blush. I have used it. Did I know I had this? No. I'm gonna put this in my cream products just because it's a cream product. It's, it's putty, but it's basically a cream product. And I also have the putty highlighter from e.l.f. that's gonna go in there, so it's fine. And then the rest of them I use all the time, so I'm keeping those. The Butter Bronzer in Beachy Peach, one of my favorites. I'm going to keep that. And then I have Milani in Bella Bellini, which I really like as well. I have the other one from... Oh, yeah, it's in here. The one that's a dupe for the NARS one is also in the back. I just didn't see it at first. All the bronzers that I have in this drawer, I'm going to keep. I have the Butter Bronzer and Sculpting Bronzer, but I honestly think it's too dark for me. So at some point, I'm going to go and just get the light bronzer or bronzer. That's the shade it's called. Just so I can have the original because I don't think the sculpting one's for me. Um, let's go to powders real quick because I have, these are all favorites. So these are all staying. I'm never getting rid of these. This e.l.f. one is really good to powder your face throughout the day. It is the finishing powder. I have it in fair light. It's like one of my favorite products. I have this infallible foundation. It's the powder foundation that everybody's seen on TikTok, but I did not. I saw it on a video on YouTube because I don't have TikTok. I'm keeping that because I like it. This powder from Hard Candy, I'm going to get rid of because I have the hydrating one that's a dupe for the Becca one that has like, it like feels like wet. I'm going to keep the or the hydrating one and get rid of this one because I use that one more than I use this one. I have the Fit Me Powder in Fair, keeping that, never going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of this one from Joa. It's the peach one just because I never reach for it. And then I have... Cody Airspun, if you want to look like a ghost, ask James Charles, and he will recommend this. Um, no hate, like, he's done what he's done, and that's on him. Um, I feel bad because that was a dark time, and he didn't deserve that, but, you know, we all make mistakes, and we move on. I have Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Translucent. I think I might want to get Banana, but I'm not totally sure Banana would work for me. I think I'm a little bit too light for that, 
but I don't know. But I'm going to keep this because I really do like this. And then I have the JSC one that smells like cotton candy, translucent. I'm going to keep it because once I get rid of it, I'm not going to buy it again. So I don't want to declutter it because then can't buy it again so i'm just gonna keep it but i really like it so if you do like buying from him which i don't know why i would recommend it but if you don't want to support him don't buy it and just move on just save your money i really like this elf mint melt cooling face primer but it is so tacky it kind of reminds me of the milk gripping primer yeah that's what it is but okay so th when this comes out it looks just like a face um, peeling mask that I have from Formula 1006. So I always want to peel it off my face or I feel like I'm supposed to go wash my face. So it throws me off every time. Can't get over it. Can't stop thinking about it every single time. And I've used this a lot, but it's so tacky and I don't like the feeling on my fingers. I'm going to try and work through it, but that bothers me so much that it's like teetering on being too much for me. My primers, I think I'm going to keep all of these because these are all like favorites. Even though I could probably get rid of this one, I'm just going to keep it anyway. So then I don't have to go rebuy it. I'm going to keep all of these concealers because I do use most of these. I don't always, what is this? Oh, okay. I thought that was the Fit Me concealer and I'm like, I could have swore I didn't have that. But no, it's not. But I'm going to keep all of these. Um... I don't particularly like this one. It's just a little bit too light coverage, so I'm actually going to get rid of it. But the rest of them I'm going to keep because I actually do like these. And then my powders, I'm going to keep these because I like most, if not all, of these. So I'm just going to keep those. And then we have the very bottom shelf that I'm going to go through real quick before we finish up because we're already at like 40 minutes. So there's my brush roll that is empty from ColourPop. I bought the... Uh, the cool toned palette that came with brushes, I bought both the palette and the brushes. These I'm just going to hold on to because I do like those. Oh, I didn't know these were back here. Um, decluttering this, don't use it. And I feel like I would put it on the chopping block maybe. This one, decluttering, don't use also. This, decluttering, don't use. And then this one, I liked it at the time, but I'm just not a big fan getting rid of that this one i bought two of so i think i'm just gonna try and sell it on poshmark because i don't think i'm gonna be able to take it back to cvs i thought i bought two different ones but it was one of those they put it in the wrong section so then i ended up buying two of the same shade which kind of irritates me because like put things back where you're supposed to and then you won't have people buying the same thing twice because they think that they're buying two separate colors so i'm gonna hold on to that so i can get rid of it this is all of my like meh stuff this i'm getting rid of because i didn't like it this was just eh, I'm getting rid of it uh what is this oh this this one was actually not bad but i'm just gonna keep it down here um these are a lot of products that like they're not terrible but i just don't use them much but i'm gonna keep most if not all of these but i'm gonna keep all of those and then get rid of these two highlighters they're not the worst but they're definitely not great I have this highlighter palette from Makeup Revolution, keeping. Glowing and Grease from BH Cosmetics, keeping. My two ColourPop palettes, keeping those. Those are like Z-Pop palettes. Uh, Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette, keeping. I have the ABH Contour Kit, NYX Contour Kit, BH Cosmetics Contour, all keeping those. Because even though I don't use them, I'm still keeping them anyway. And then I have all of these e.l.f. face and eye products. Face and eye uh, palettes that I don't know why I'm keeping down here because they're never going to see the light of day if they're sitting down here. Oh, this one for one wild's not bad. I like it. I'm going to hold on to that. The e.l.f. palette in cream and sugar. I'm keeping it. It's a very basic palette. If you don't like wearing much color at all, that would be for you. I have truffles keeping that because it's a really nice fall palette. I have pumpkin pie keeping that. That's good for fall as well. This one busted, and I was most looking forward to this to use it as like a bronze topper kind of a thing. Stupid thing busted in the mail, so I'm going to keep it. It's in the shade Coconut, so I'm going to keep that. I have this one in the shade Cantaloupe that I'm going to keep because I really like that orange. And then I have this one in the shade White Peach. I pretty much bought all of them because they were all so cheap. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep those here, actually. 
And then I have this green palette, which is in Hot Jalapeno. And I'm going to keep this as well, because that one's not bad, and I've heard really good things. I feel like it could almost be a dupe for one of the, like, Fenty Beauty palettes. I believe she had, like, a six pan that was green. And I've heard people say this one's better. Sorry, Brianna, but that's cool. Okay, so this is what I have on my makeup desk. This is going to go over on the shelf. I'm going to stick it right here. It's actually a blush, but I use it as a bronzer because it's just more glowy. This eyeshadow palette, getting rid of, I hate it. I don't want to use it anymore. So it's going away in that section. Um, the cheek dews were not terrible, but were just not my thing. But I'm going to keep those anyway. Um, I have this. Uh, it's CW12 from NYX. It's one of their concealers, but it's the green one that is good for um, if you're trying to cover up stuff. I can't think of color matching or the, something like that. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Um, this concealer, the Flawless Brightening Concealer from e.l.f., it's not bad. I got the recommendation from Robert Welsh. So I'm going to keep that and keep using it because it's still a little new to me. This is the powder that I'm going to keep from Hard Candy. It feels wet when you use it, so that's really cool. So I'm going to hold on to that. Then I have these two eyeliners from LA Girl. I think I paid like $2 each for these. They're in like their Shockwave formula. Really pretty. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to try and use those. Even if I just pair them with an eyeshadow or just like use them on their own, I'm going to try and like get some use out of them because I feel like they're really pretty. All of these palettes are staying. This one is actually the Morphe Jaclyn Hill one. I'm actually going to put up on my bookshelf just because I don't use it at all and I'm just going to put it away. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end the video because I pretty much discussed everything and I have a good pile of things to get rid of. So that's exciting. That's what we want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and ring that notification bell down below so you get notified on when I upload my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!